welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Alex. And today I have a thrift haul for you. I went to two thrift stores. I went to Volunteers of America and I went to a Goodwill. And I got a few things for some home decor items I wanted to show you. And then I'll tell you what I'm planning on using them for, for the most part. And Alex is over here with me because, you know, I'm talking to myself. There's his tail. All right, what are we doing, buddy? He doesn't know. All right, we'll start with, and I'll just tell, show you what I got and where I got it and how much. I got this cast iron pan. This was $2.99, and I think it's perfect for one person. Now, there's a little bit of rust on it, so I am going to have to do a little work, but for $2.99, and it's never been cooked on. I think it was just stored somewhere. So I think I just need to take a Brillo pad to it, scrub it up, and then season it. So I grabbed that. And that came from Goodwill. I hope it's not too bright. At the same Goodwill, I found this Pampered Chef Croc. It's probably seen better days. Um, it was 99 cents. But I think what I'm going to do is um, paint it and use it as a planter. It's some, I don't know what kind of crock Pampered Chef says. I'm assuming it's for like cutlery and stuff. But it was a buck and I think it'll make a fun rust, ooh, lighting. A fun rustic looking planter. So I grabbed that there and then the last thing I got, same Goodwill, in this bag from the same Goodwill, is just one of these little saucers. It's the Ancestry, or I'm sorry, Amcrest Fine China from Japan, but I love the green. It was a little saucer, 50 cents. My pour over coffee maker is gonna sit in this to collect any of the extra drippings it gets all over my counter. So it was 50 cents, works for that. This was also from the Goodwill this morning. And the last thing I got at this Goodwill, which I hope you'll be able to get it in the shot, is this gigantic candle holder. Let's do something here. This stuff is coming off. I don't know what this is. I mean, I think it's pretty, but it definitely does not go with um, taking off these beads. And I may use them for something else because I love this color blue. I just don't love these, this stuff all over it. So I'm just going to strip it for now. So I took off this garlandy looking stuff but look at the size of this thing it's black and I think it comes apart yeah it unscrews but we're not gonna do that we'll leave it together and what I'm gonna do with it this summer is put it on my front porch it's about waist high and it was three dollars and ninety nine cents and I'm leaving it black I'm just gonna scrub it up and then I think I'm going to put like a hurricane vase on top and hot glue it down so it's not permanent, but it'll stick on my front porch. It's covered. Uh, but I absolutely was in love with this thing. It's been used as a candle holder. There's wax all over it. And then these little, I don't even know what this stuff is. Um, some type of garland that I think, and this even comes apart. Oh, it does. So I can use, well, I can use just the blue for something. I don't know. I'm not worried about that garlandy stuff. Um, so I grabbed that, $3.99. I thought that was exciting. And that was this morning at Goodwill. Um, the other day I went to Volunteers of America. There's a new one built by where I live. And I found this gigantic candle holder. And this holds three. Um, it's in a cream color. I'm going to paint it black because it's going to go on the front porch with the other one. And then I got some like little uh, fish bowls that I'm going to paint on the inside and turn upside down and glue to give it a little look because I don't want to put candles on my front porch. They'll melt. But I'm going to spray paint this black. And then come winter time for Christmas, it'll come inside and it'll get repurposed somewhere else. And this was $3.93. I was looking for like large scale items. Oh, this is that blue that I was liking. 
Um, I picked up this frame. And this is handmade, I can tell you that, because on the back there's just a canvas that somebody, ooh, that somebody has hand painted this. I'm gonna take out the Amish picture, but look at the texture on this frame. It needs to be shored up a little bit. I'll nail it together. And then I think what I'm gonna do, because I do more like a farmhouse, I'm gonna order a print off of Etsy that can go in here and hang it on my wall in the living room. But this thing was $4.94, and it is a 16 by 20 on the inside. And what I can do is just paint over this and then attach a print to it and hang it on my wall, and it's very lightweight. So I grabbed that, which is pretty good size, for $4.94. And then for $3.93, look at this frame. Now this has got glass and a mat in it. And look at the texture there. This is gonna get painted. Um, I might paint it black and then kind of highlight it with some gold. Um, this is gonna go in my bedroom. I don't know what's going in it. It's from Garden Ridge. It was regularly $24.99. And I believe it holds a, I don't know what size picture. Uh, now it's a 16 by 20 as well but I'm fairly certain that the opening is an eight by 10. Sorry for the reflection, but look at the texture in that. I just don't care for the coloration, it's green, but I think I'll paint it solid black and then do like a gold or a white wax in it with a little gold highlight. I think that'll be pretty and it's already framed and ready to go. And I will hang something in my bedroom. I have a very large wall that's kind of has nothing on it. And then for my Christmas, I bought this again at my Volunteers of America, a little more than I wanted to spend, but I was not leaving these behind. This is iron, it's rusted. Look at that bear. <gasps> Candlesticks, and there's two of them. Let's see if I can hold them both for you. Look at those bears. And Buffalo Check will go so perfect with this. Um, like even just a bow or put it with some greenery uh, as a tablescape and then some red candles I think is perfect I do have to do nothing to these and there's no company name on them or anything so I don't know where these came from there is a little bit of felt on the bottom but I may buy some more um, just so they don't um, scratch at my table, but I really wish I knew, yeah, because there's some scratchy, actually what I might end up doing is getting a piece of felt and cutting it. I just don't want these scratching at my table, but there's no indicator of where they were made. Um, and the two of those were $8.99. But again, I wasn't passing that up. That's right up my Christmas aesthetic. I do Buffalo check for Christmas. Um, and I, everything is very rustic, and I loved the rust color, and it was perfect. So I think I did pretty good for, I haven't been really gone to the thrift stores in ages. Um, but I love the height of these, and I will show you my front porch when it's done. I'm waiting until I can get some plants outside. It's still a little cool at night. It's dripping into the 40s here. Um, but one of them will be a fern, and it will go in my Dollar Tree baskets that I glued together. And then I'm going to make some floral. And then these two on the other side. And it's a small little front porch area and a little step. Yeah, I'm super excited. So I hope you enjoy my thrift haul. Um, I'll try to make it back again and see what I can find. And you have a great day. Bye.